Hi, this is Joe Ador from Frankfurt on Foot, and today we are at Miguel Atikasale. For those of you who used to be stationed here in Frankfurt, this may be a trip back in time for you. This is where the U-Bahn, the U1, 2, and 3 stop. Upstairs is where the commissary and the PX and Baskin and Robbins and Chi Chi's used to be. And also the Frankfurt High School. So we're going to walk down the Guala de Casale and go see where the high school is located. Now back in the old days, this area down here was filled with stands. You could buy all kinds of souvenirs and flags. But the military left here in 1995, and so did all the stands. coming up on the side of the street where the PX and the commissary used to be. And today, the Pulitzer Presidium is here. So take a look around and see if anything looks familiar. Certainly not this. I'm gonna go down here and cross the street. And I walk down to where the high school used to be. The building is still there. The Eagle is still there. That's not a Frankfurt High School anymore. This is Eschersheimer Landstrasse on the corner of Ajeka Saleh. Back across the street is where Abrams Complex used to be. The Abrams Concern. These buildings would have been here. Go across the street real quick. And I'm gonna go across the street here too. So this may look familiar to you. Miguel Ale. Lots of green here, we've had lots of rain. If you see something that reminds you of your time that you lived here in Frankfurt, or were stationed here, or went to school here, please let me know if there's something that I didn't mention or that you'd like to be have filmed, please let me know. I have lots of time. I'm happy to go and film it. So there used to be a kiosk right here. It was quite a big hangout. And it's gone. I think they're going to be tearing all these buildings down here too. The biggest problem with all of these old buildings, the housing and stuff, is that a lot of them have asbestos in them. And they need so much work to bring them up to date that it, it just doesn't pay to 
renovate them. It's easier to tear them down, build new apartment buildings or new school buildings. Because they're right close to the Goethe University. So these are pretty much all buildings that would have been built in the uh, 50s. You can see the TV tower through the trees. And that's some nice murals painted on these buildings now. These haven't been here too long. It's a nice addition to the neighborhood. Again, there's a lot of buildings that were here that are already gone. They've already torn them down. They're building, building so many buildings for the campus, for the university. It's crazy. Isn't that a nice mural? I'm gonna zoom in so you can see it better. This is the corner of Hans Allee and Miguel de Casale. So these are the new buildings. This is where Abrams Caserne used to be. So these are all brand new. Down here is Hansa Ale. Down there would be High Cog or the American Consulate housing area. You can call it the Seedlung, you can call it High Cog. Depends on when you lived here. So, all brand new buildings. going to be um, languages and culture studies. Here's the sign. Hansa Ale, Miguel Ale. Named after Johannes from Miguel. He was the mayor of Frankfurt 1880 to 1890. A lot of the nice things in Frankfurt are because of him. Like the train station. Old Opera House. It's another nice mural over here. Get up across from it, I'll zoom in so you can see it better. And this street leads right to Grunerberg Park. There we have that. And when you're walking in Germany, at least here in Frankfurt, the sidewalks are often two different colors. This side over here is for the bicycles. This side over here is for us. Though lately, a lot of, um, a lot of roads do have bicycle lanes on them. They're talking about making the TV tower or the Genheimer Spargel, as many of us call it. So the Genheim Asparagus. Uh, there used to be a club up on top of it. And so they're talking about doing that again. So there's housing back in here. Be a mess hall back here, dining facility, movie theater, all gone. And this street here leads to the 66, the Autobahn. 
gonna see if we can let us into the high school. It's now the Philip Holtzman School. They teach trades there. Sometimes they let you come in and explore and sometimes they don't. So this is Soliuststrasse. Over there is, I believe, where the football field used to be. Hopefully some of you will fill me in on what used to be where. I didn't go to school here, but I was here in 86. I did come to the movies here. I did come over here to do the commissary and the PX. So I'm fairly familiar with this neighborhood, but not with any of the particulars. So I think back in there is probably where the movie theater and the dining facility used to be. So the school is back in here. But I'm gonna go around to the outside. I don't think school is in session right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and walk around through here. So they may not let me in because I don't think it's open. I don't know if there's anybody here or not. But we'll give it a try. And if we can't get in this time, we'll come back when school is in session again. Pretty closed up. So this is where you can sit outside. They're collecting rainwater over here. They teach trades here, painting, um, lacquer work, gardening. If you watched my video about the Gerda University, the Abrams building, General Abrams building, we did walk back here, but we didn't come explore it very much. So there's a TV tower. This is where it says Frankfurt. American High School. And now it's the Philip Holtzman Schule. So I'll ask if I can get in. Let me turn this off for a minute. Okay, there's nobody to ask, so I'm going to go ahead and come in and walk through the halls until somebody tells me that I can't be here. I don't know if I can really come walking through here or not. I think it'd be better if I got permission so I could go into like the gymnasium and things like that. We'll just take a quick peek. Oh, there's a nice little mosaic down here from the class of 1988. I wonder who this is. Who made this?
one. And this is what's here now. Machen Sie hier auch früher auf der Schule? Wie bitte? Achso, auch früher hier auf der Schule? Nein, war ich nicht. Ich bin hier seit 86, aber ich war noch hier auf der Schule. Achso. Aber danke. Okay, the school is closed and I think that they don't want anybody in there. So we'll come back some other time when the school is open and go through the halls and go and see if we can get into the gymnasium and see what's up with that. So let's go walk back here where the officer's housing was. See what's left of all of it. Because the last time I came through here, a lot of it looked a little bit neglected, considering when these went up for auction after the military pulled out, they were quite desirable because these are big houses. But they kind of look like nobody lives in them now. So they may be tearing them down. Who knows? Let's come walking over here. So here we are at the former officer's housing. We'll see if there's anybody still living here. There's a sprinkler going, so there must be somebody living here. These would have been nice big houses to have. Here at Sayoliststrasse. I don't know who that is. Anybody ever live here? At number 14. This is Rostockerstrasse. So we'll go up this other side street and see what we can see. new buildings for the university right next to the old high school i'm glad that they've left the high school there there's a lot of history there i'm glad they didn't tear it down and that they're using it to still educate people the trades are really important here that's a three-year school at least so this is Wismarstrasse and Wollstockerstrasse. Did anybody live on this street? These houses all look empty, like there's nobody living here. The city must be going to do something with them. This one over here is brand new. So they're still keeping this as a housing area. There's no curtains at any of the windows. Does this door say sex, drugs and rock and roll? Okay, that says number four, but that says 2362. So they've changed the addresses. There's some curtains in this one. There's not a lot in that. So the 
this is number two. But I'm sure all these had different addresses back when the military was here. So this is 2363, but also one. And that's that, because the university starts over here. Let's go over here down this street. Who would have lived here? Generals? Their families? I'm going to guess because these are pretty large houses. Yeah, I'd have some kind of rank to have been in a house this large. So we're back on this street. Take a peek, peek through the bushes here. So this would be a little patio or pond. Looks like somebody might be in there at number eight. These garages look like they've been made into little houses. What about this house here? This is all just a mystery. This is town. Got a goldfish pond. So there must be somebody living here. Because the herons would come and eat those goldfish if never scared. So this is this is where we started out. Right across from the high school again. Here where they're where they have the sprinkler going on. So, it says number 12. Thank you for joining me, and please get back with me if you recognize any of these houses, if any of you lived here across from the high school. This is Joe Ator saying, uh, remember to like and subscribe, and thanks for being here. Bye.